Welcome back. Their mission is to make a difference in the community by hosting events and having a creative space where people can be themselves. So joining us now are the owners of the Hidden Cottage. Welcome, Laura Sanchez and Ishmael Sanchez. Thank you guys so much for being here. I was uh, stalking your um, social media profiles and looking at all the fun stuff. And I love this because there are just so many fun little treasures. So tell me about the Hidden Cottage. So a lot of people have described the Hidden Cottage as kind of like a store, but also an I Spy book. Yeah. Oh. It's a lot to see. Yeah. Yes, um, that's yes. actually a yeah. great uh, description <laughs> because there, you guys have a lot of product in there. We yeah. do, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the product is made um, locally. We try yeah. to support local creators, um, local artists. Um, I make a lot of this stuff and then I have friends that also make stuff, so. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yes, I see, um, you made these right over here. Yes. Yeah, I yes, see I your little those. John Hancock yep. on them. <laughs> um, yeah. Where did you guys come up with this idea and how do you get connected with the uh, artists? So um, I started doing epoxy in about late 2020 and I was doing pop-ups and pop-ups and pop-ups and um, I met a lot of my friends um, that are in the shop with the, with me. Um, they are, I met them along the way. Yeah. So yeah. I, I decided, you know what, like why not give them a platform? You know, we already have to go to places like Target and Walmart to purchase uh, everyday goods. Sure. Food. But we, if you want to get a gift and you get to actually meet the person who made it, I feel like it's really um, special. It's such a, I love when places in the Central Valley can have things like this because if you are looking for that one particular thing, mm -hmm. like right now I have this um, gallery wall I'm putting together and I'm looking for this one certain thing, but I don't want it to be mass produced. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah. it to have a little exactly. story and I want it to be, to come from somewhere so that every time I look at it, I'll be like, oh, remember when I got that fun, that fun little thing. Yeah. All right, you mentioned your um, epoxy, like resin work. Yes. It did, yeah. did you make, do you have any of your resin work up here? Yeah. So. I I make oh, stuff I knew like you were gonna point yeah. that out. I make oh, stuff like this. Yeah. Um, I really wanted to do like you know body positivity yeah. and just something different and unique that you know you don't really see in stores. And sure. Mass produced. Absolutely. Did you make not. this one? I did. I love this one. It's like hocus pocus. It's, it's perfect a little, timing. It's almost. It's, yes, uh, I can't believe it's almost season. Halloween. You know. All right. So so we mentioned there um, that you know you're trying to bring the community together and 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 put yourselves out there and, and mm -hmm. be a space where people can be themselves. How are you doing that? So when we first opened, we hosted a lot of um, poetry slams and things oh, yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> haven't hosted too many lately because it's just been um, kind of slow. People are you know, heading out to the coast for the summer yes. and things like mm -hmm. that, but we do want to start bringing that back for fall. That would This would be a great space Definitely. if you follow them on social media and you look at, at their storefront. That would be a great space because you are surrounded by so many things that are so inspiring. Yeah. All right. So you mentioned that um, that you know you, maybe you're not doing as many right now, but that's also because it's just the two of you, right? Yes. yes. You yeah. run the that's store. The you run the store together. Yes. Mm -hmm. How is that going? What? How is it like being business owners? Is this your mm -hmm. first business that you've owned? Yes. Yeah. Like uh, basically, she does the social media, okay. like posting about it. I do like the bookkeeping and all that. So she's more the creative side on this, uh, decorating the shop and everything, making it look good making it yeah. feel homey yeah. and welcome yeah. Yeah. so basically uh, mm -hmm. he makes music and we also host his cds and merch yes. in the shop yeah. so it's kind of like you know tennis match back and yeah. forth so uh -huh. you're also yeah. a creative yep mm -hmm. i love this i love when people can find each other and they can sort of play off of each other's strengths and and then open up a space where everybody else can come you know take advantage and then maybe they can also find a space of their own where is the hidden cottage how can we come visit all right, so it's located in Porterville, California. Uh, address 69 West Putnam Avenue. Uh, just located where? So it's, it's just off of Main Street. We Is are, it really yeah, hidden? Yeah, yeah. We are, it's kind of hidden. <laughs> to be honest, the name kind of fits. Yeah, um, yeah. It's off of Main Street, so we're not we're in downtown Porterville, okay. but we yes. are not on Main Street, so we're just off the beaten path. Okay. We're mm -hmm. on Putnam and Hockett. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the parking situation's a little, eh, it's a little weird, but that just gives you more opportunity to not only explore our shop, yeah. but all the other restaurants and shops around us. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have to go on a, on a make sure we uh, go on a successful scavenger hunt for for the the, the yes. Hidden Cottage. I will have the address online as well. Oh, they, they zoomed in right there on those little uh, Dorito chips. I need some <laughs> um, I need some hot Cheeto earrings. We have <laughs> toffee. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Toffee. Yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. some hot Cheeto earrings. Oh, and I also wanted to point out this. Look at this. Uh, 
Look at this guy. This is a purse. This is a, um, a take Chinese takeout purse. Extra roomy for all of your treats. You can put, I can fill that thing with hot Cheetos. All right, we will put all the information online. You guys, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing and uh, good luck with your business. Hopefully we can send more artists and more people down there. Yes. Thanks so much. 100%, thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Still to come here, a new way to help local kids remember the past. More details coming up in this week's Education Matters.